Evening, Kieran. Evening. Um, just a couple of questions looking ahead to uh, this coming Saturday's game. Um, boys have had a couple of weeks off the field uh, with the break. How are the lads feeling? Uh, good. They've come back in with a lot of energy. Um, you know, I think the, the week off probably came at the right time. You know, mentally we were, you know, struggling a little bit the way performances and results have gone. So you know, uh, we gave them a week off, a week away to go and you know not think about rugby and, and recover. And you know, they've come back in, had a great session on Tuesday. Um, you know, they're, they're saying all the right things, and you know, the attitude's been fantastic. So, yeah, looking forward to, to a big block of games now running up to Christmas. Fantastic. So, um, talking of Saturday then, looking forward to Saturday. The result away to Darlington last year was a yeah. close one. Yeah. Um, Darlington edged it just 33-31. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think Saturday has in store for us? Yeah, they, they've done that to us a couple of times uh, in, in, in the last last two times we've gone up there. It's been close and yeah, they, they've nicked it at the end uh, when I we, we, you know, we're in a position to win it. Um, you know, it doesn't really bear any relevance on what happens this weekend. You know, they're probably a little bit disappointed with how their season started, similar to us. You know, I think they've won one more game than us. Um, you know, and people were both tipping us you know, to be at the top and we're not quite where, where we want to be either side. So, yeah, I'd imagine it'll be edgy, uh, you know, be a little bit cagey. You know, everyone's kind of scrapping for wins at the moment. You know, uh, you, know you, you put two or three wins together and all of a sudden you're shooting right at the table. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be... Uh, a tight game. Logistically for us, it's it's a difficult trip, you know, because of the of the duration of it and, and and what time we can leave and all the rest of it. So, you know, we're under no illusions how hard it is from that side of things. You know, there's a couple of guys not made that trip before. Um, you know, so we'll be doing our best to make sure they're well prepared for it. Okay, brilliant. So you mentioned there uh, about it being a tough game. Um, it always is. Um, in the last game, you cited Albion as being defensively soft. Yeah. Um, certainly, um, in, in terms of the latter part of the game. Yeah. Um, can you tell us what's been done to rectify I this think, situation? Yeah, I think you know, emotionally after a game, you, you say some things that on reflection are, are probably not entirely accurate. Um, you know, we, we missed, you know, individuals missed you know, two or three tackles which led to them scoring. You know, on the whole, defensively, we've been pretty good. You know, I think we're, we're second or third in the league in terms of points conceded, so defensively we're not in a bad place. Um, there's always things we've got to work on. Uh, our set-piece defence was, was not as good as it should have been against all their teams, which gave them a couple of easy scores. Um, you know, particularly off the off the scrum play in the second half, and you know, we, we've been working hard on that on Tuesday, and we'll visit we'll revisit it again tonight to make sure that we've we've corrected those mistakes and our understanding is better. Brilliant. So basically, just putting everything in place that you can, ready for Saturday, learning from our mistakes in the past. Um, obviously, the we've got um, we've releasing the squad, and there are six changes to the starting fifteen yep. uh, for the game against um, for the game against Darlington versus the game against Oldfamia. What's the reason behind this? Uh, partly injury. Um, you know, we picked up a couple of injuries against um, against OEs. Um, partly because you guys have been called back up the road uh, from Exeter as well. Uh, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of form. Um, you know, injuries are hampering us at the moment. You know, with pretty much everyone who's who's fit forwards wise is playing. Um, you know, which is, is tough on those guys. You know, to, to back it up week in week out. But coming off of the back of a week off, you know, we're feeling pretty confident about where we are in that area. Um, you know, and, and backs. You know, you know, like we said, we, we picked up a couple of injuries there, and obviously our prep against OEs. You know, when you lose one player and you know, in, in Dan Powell early on in the game, and then you have to make three or four positional changes as a result. It kind of scuppers all of your your preparation for that week goes out the window. So, yeah, it, partly that you know we're trying to shuffle things around and give other people an opportunity. Um, you know, Jordan is, is back fit again now. You know, whether he would have come back in if, if John had been fit or not is really answer that but yeah he's been pushing hard and training he played well uh in a in a midweek game last week uh you know and i'm looking forward to see how he goes on the wing this week brilliant thank you and uh just finally then you mentioned injury there you mentioned Pauli. Yeah. um he's obviously out of the squad uh, yeah. for this coming saturday um we know he's suffered a couple of injuries over the last couple of games seemingly yeah. the same injury yeah. can you tell us how he's doing yeah he's yeah he's he's doing okay he's um he's uh he's struggling with a recurring hamstring injury um uh, we're not quite sure why it keeps happening. He gets back to the point where he, he feels fit and you know, the strength is there and, and everything seems to be okay. And then you know, he, he plays a minute or so and, and it goes again. So you know, we're, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. He's obviously frustrated with it. We're frustrated with it as well. Uh, you know, He showed in that first 40 uh, against Coldy how dangerous he can be and, and, what, and what a weapon he can be for us. So it's frustrating not to have him out there on the park more regularly. But you know, we have to kind of you know, take a step back from it and, and make sure that everything is, is right. There's obviously some sort of underlying issue there. And you know, because of that, at the moment, we can't really put a time frame on, on when he'll be back. But you know, he'll be working hard to make sure it's as quick as possible. 
Well, we wish him well, and I'm sure all the fans wish him well. Yeah. And um, we all wish you well for this weekend, Kieran. We hope it all goes uh, our way. Cheers, mate. Thank Thanks you. very much. Cheers, mate.